Alright, what is up, guys? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you a straight up insane, out of the box, amazing gameplay by myself. I actually was using the ACR with suppressor and extended mags, which is a tank of a gun. Suggest you to use it if you're going to be going for bigger high end kill streaks or high end kill games, or just go for those easy MOABs. And. I am playing on the DLC map Sanctuary, one of my favorite DLC maps. It actually is my favorite D favorite DLC map, but not my favorite map overall. This map was highly configured, in my opinion, to be meant for ground war. It's a big map, but you can play it small if you are playing in 6v6 domination, but I am playing 9v9 man ground war solo, which you really never see on YouTube anymore. It's mainly people always playing in 9 man parties. But I thought I'd bring it to you guys something new. Bring you guys some solo game playing ground war. Show you how it's done. You can still play solo and do really well. One of my best games to this date. It's a 62 and 1. 62 kills, 1 death. Just let that settle right there in your mind. 62 kills, 1 death. Double Moab fail. I was 2 kills off the double Moab, I think. It was between 4 and 1. One of those, and I get shot in the back by a dude using Marksman and the G36 Thermal, and it was gold. I, I, I know it was my fault how I die. You guys will see how I die in a bit. But I know it was my fault. I, I take it like a man when I know it's my fault. But when I know it's my teammate, that's when I have to say something. But, I mean, you can't blame your teammates again. I am playing with a bunch of randoms. If I really wanted to, I could play in a full party, which I'm trying to do a little bit more. I mean, I, I like playing solo just because it gives me the freeness of not having to talk, anyone, talk to anyone and just focus on the game and still be able to tear it up. And another reason why I die two or three off the double mob is because... I wasn't focusing. I thought I had it in the bag. I thought I had everything going for me. I was using this. It's not a head glitch. It's sort of a spot where you can take advantage of them spawning at B. And I was just continually doing that. And I was like, wow, this is easy, easy all day. And I was just, I, was, I thought I was all that right then. But then I realized when I got shot in the back, I need to get back in the game. Get my head up in the game, boy. And I was just... I was really needing to go for it. I was really needing to give it my all. So I was like, okay, that's a good spot. Let me go for it again. I get back up. I press square to respawn. I was like, taking a little bit of a break, two or three second break, stretch, and I'm like, let's do this. So I go after it, and I get the Moab, and I'm just so excited. I'm just really excited to bring you right now to this gameplay. This gameplay is an amazing gameplay, in my opinion. I don't know who wouldn't think it's an amazing gameplay to get a 62 kill to death ratio. That's, that's a really high... That's not anybody's average. I'm almost positive of that. It's just an amazing overall game. I am using the special perk strike package just because it's an amazing way to get Moabs. And it gives you all those perks and it makes you feel like the super soldier you really are on your inside. It makes you feel like that guy who can take down every other player on the enemy team on his own, being the lone wolf of the group, being able to, the guy who just gets spot on aim and has got everything down and everything going for him. That's just how I felt right now in this match. You can see nobody was running ballistic vests. That's another thing why I wanted to bring this to you guys because nobody was running ballistic vests for me. It was all me, all up to me, all up to me, my good old ACR and my aim. Right here I get killed in the back. That upset me a little bit, but I was like, okay, got to watch this kill cam, see what he did. I look at the gun he's using. I look how he aims down sight, and I'm like, what is this? If he would have legitimately killed me, he did legitimately kill me, but if he would have le legitimately killed me with like an MP7 or if he would have walked up behind me with a Model 1887 or a Striker or something like that, I would have respected him a little bit more instead of having to flank me with a thermal G36 that honestly makes no sense in my right mind. Who would put that attachment on the gun unless they're going for a pretty sweet Weird Weapon Wednesday gameplay? So guys, stay till the end. you get a link to my most recent Weird Weapon Wednesday. It was a really good one. I was using the MG36 on hard hat. Definitely a Weird Weapon. Go check it out. There will be a link in the description. I mean, there will be a link at the end of the video, so be sure to check that out. So right here, you can also see I'm back in that spot. This spot is just a beast of a spot. Suggest you guys to use this, especially right now. You can probably find some other spots like this on other maps, but this is the one that I know, and this is the one that I'm used to. So I was like, I went into ground war. I was thinking, 
I'm not sure if I can do this. I hear people always complain, and whenever they play Ground War solo, all they do is they get blown up with people running assassin, blind eye, dead silence, listening to their footsteps with Sit Rep Pro. So I was a little bit discouraged, but I thought I might go for it. So I went for it, and this is what happened. My first game, I was so excited when I got this. I was so ready to bring it to you guys, but I made sure I had the best right time to do the commentary, the best time to have the best intro and the best watermark and the best outro. And this is what it turned out to be. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. The way to tell me you're enjoying is by leaving a nice comment. Whatever you guys feel like the feedback should be, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. Or you can like this video. That helps me get noticed. It really makes me want to continue doing videos. You can also subscribe to tell me that you're going to be watching most of my videos. That helps a lot. It tells me how many people are watching my videos. It encourages me more. Every time I get a new subscriber, I know I got another new person to entertain almost every day. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring you guys amazing quality quality HD commentary content with awesome gameplay and awesome commentary and just overall entertaining content. Another tip I'm going to be bringing to you guys is what you want to use for your grenades, your flashbangs. No portable radar in my opinion. You normally want to use that when you're playing solo, but I went all ham on this and I knew I could do it without playing without having to run a portable radar so I decided to run flashbang because flashbangs are really more powerful than the concussion grenades or stun grenades they were called stun grenades in modern warfare 2 I'm not sure about black ops I played a lot of black ops but I don't remember it. you can see that guy commit suicide right there I do not know what he was thinking I don't know I do not know what he was thinking I do not condone committing suicide it's a very sad thing if you guys are in a situation like that you can private message me inbox me talk to you guys on Skype for sure all the time all day every day I really will and then I'm also using for my specialist perks in the little right hand corner you guys can see it is sleight of hand assassin and hardline I do not suggest these perks these aren't really that good I was kinda just derping around just messing around and this is what I ended up getting and I was really surprised so I started to use the setup a little bit more and I've been getting gameplays back to back to back to back just owning it up getting some quality content gameplays for you guys right here I'm back to this spot thinking let me try and speed up the moab I wanna see if I could go for a double and maybe even a triple fail but I didn't. I ended up I ended up just getting the Moab on the streak but dying in the earlier one and then it was a little bit late to go for the triple Moab, maybe even a double Moab fail. I didn't even know some high conglomerate amount of Moabs and I didn't even know what was going on because there were so many enemies on the other team and they're all running at me. I'm just doing whatever I can do right here and this is an amazing spot. It really is. You got to have some spot on aim which you can get by playing over and over again. You'll get better aim, better every single time you play. The more time you play, the way to get better at video games is continually play, get better, get used to the guns, get used to the maps, play with friends. That even brings an extra social part to it, which makes it even more fun, which is always a blast to have friends. Right here, I pick up the mob. I call it in immediately because I wanted to show them what was up. And then I drop shot this guy. Just I didn't turn on him, but I ran around the corner, and I still managed to get him. And I get a multi-kill right here with this mob. Really excited. Gives me a bunch of points to level up because I love leveling up. And then I go on a little bit of a gun streak. I think it's an, an 8 to 10 gun streak after. And I was really excited about this being a big gun streak because you know those are always the best kills whenever you get after your mob. You're like, yeah, I, I still got the mob, but I'm still tearing you guys up. It's still happening. Everything is still going down. I'm not out of it. You guys need to pay attention. You guys need to get your head in the game. I had my head in the game this whole time. I was so excited to get kills and kills after this. I was just going ham, going ham in the paint. I was going over and over and over and over again on these guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can like this video if you enjoyed it, it definitely helps me out you can also like my Facebook page that shows that I that you guys care and want to know about these daily updates you can also follow me on Twitter that is where I'm most active at quantum 15 link in the description below also link in the my description to my Facebook you can also favorite this video if it was one of your favorites or you want to go back to it share it with your grandma share it with your uncle share it with your second removed twice removed cousin the person who you barely even talked to but you know you want to share one of your buddy quantum FT's videos leave a comment telling me whatever you guys want to say say I like nachos in the comment I'm out of here guys peace And all these stupid ass people been running up on me lately being like, yo, subscribe, you big. You sound to a major. I heard you got that radio play. <laughs> What's up with MTV? You know what I'm gonna tell y'all fools? Don't be deceived, uh, yeah. Hey yo, this goes out to every crooked kid with a plot, to every lyricist that sucked it to get to the top, to every young kid who's picturing the crib with a car, down to murder motherfuckers just to sit with a star.
Thank you guys for watching this video, and on the left you'll be able to click on my most recent Weird Weapon Wednesday, and on the right you'll be able to click and see a mystery video or a random video, and you guys can check out my Twitter, the link will be in the description below, along with my Facebook, go ahead, leave a like there, you can also follow me on Twitter for daily updates, it's been QuadMFT, I'm out of here guys, peace.